Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, so I tip the scales for another game of Neverwinter Nights 2. Alright, so, after crafting some infernal focuses and, and cheating the devil system, I got myself a little talisman which increased my dexterity by 3, which was kind of useless since I had some braces dexterity which increased my dexterity by 4. So I gave it to Armanjero, who's not here, because we're going off, we're heading off to um, find out no off the dragon, off to see the magic dragon. Not gonna take anyone else along. So it's just gonna be these these fellows. To Nurlof Valley then. Which is somewhere near Armanjero's Haven, according to the map. Weird, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Ancient Valley. Let's walk in. We have been climbing for some time, but I feel that our destination is near. Ah! Look there. It is the path that Armanjero spoke of. The one that winds like the tail of a great beast. Let's be off then. All right. So, looking at the map, it does look like you're, it does look like the shape of a dragon. Does that mean we're inside the dragon technically? Probably not, because you know it's kind of open air. It's been dead for a while. But as soon as you walk through, at some point you get ambushed, which means I should actually. Um, hey. What's going on? Hey, sorceress. Uh. What you step up to the fight? Why, why aren't you here, Zaheev? You're slowing everything down. I don't want to reach the next part of the map and then you be told, You must gather your party before venturing forth. Or something along those lines. I haven't actually heard that voice from Boulder's Gate. What's going apparently, on? But apparently, though, it's a big, loud voice that says, You must venture and gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, and as it turns out, you can't um, write time stop onto a scroll, so that spell's useless. Yeah. Here we go, Elder Earth Elemental. And I failed my tumble check. Uh, the frame rate's gonna be very, very choppy around this point because um, it's always been like that since I, even when I played the game for the first time, it was always very choppy in this area. So it's not a matter of me recording and playing the game at the same time probably is, but it's um, been very, very choppy anyway, regardless. But as you venture along, there should be another Earth Elemental. Or maybe not. But look at that. A crystal heart. Life grows thick here, even in the middle of these dead mountains. Well, he didn't mention this. It must be the presence of the Dragon Spirit that makes this place possible. Know that we should continue our search. The dragon cannot be far. Now that's a big heart he's got there. This massive crystal seems to radiate heat, almost as if the life has life of its own. While keeping it afloat is unclear, the powerful magic is almost certainly responsible. Oh, there's an ore, ore field there. Now, they wouldn't show a big glowing crystal heart unless something was gonna happen to it. This crystal. <laughs> It is shaped like the heart of a dragon. I do not think we should harm it, since that could serve only to anger the dragon. Hmm, I'm not going to touch anything in this valley. Know that perhaps. Oh, attacked by water elementals, huh? Well, good my fire magic is going to be good against, good, good against them. I have blind fighting, you can't stop me. I'm, I may be blind, but I still have a cute earring. Don't know, what my, don't know what jewelry has to do with it, but hey, hey, but it helped me fight, I guess, if I can actually do it. Oh, it turns out if you don't have blind fighting, never mind. Look, other beings are present. Watch out for those. Watch out for those red dragons. Know that I feel a great energy coming from this crystal. Dragonkin must be drawn to it and covet its power. They watch us, for now. We must be careful. Dovakin! Dovakin. <laughs> well then, if we have to deal with them, we know we will just shout um, that spell which knocks them out of the air. I can't remember its name. So, I'm gonna go with the standard Fusroda. Fusroda! Which is not actually the spell that knocks them out of the air. Knocks people flying, though. There's our Elder Elemental. 
That's what I was looking for. This thing to kill. Who'd you wanna kill? Alright. Anything, um... Anything on Sona? Alright, nothing then. Move on. Press forward, second line clear. Touch the crystal. Okay, activating control station. Alright, prepare the warp drive. Warp 7, Mr. Sulu. You dare to disturb me here? Were I not chained to this deathless existence, I would scatter your shattered bodies to the winds for your trespass. Yet instead, you roam unchecked within my remains, like parasites. What promises shall you make this time? Well, um, um, uh, I propose to build a city underwater where we'll be free of parasites. Because it's not a man entitled to the sweat of his own brow. Um, yeah. No, says the dragon, it belongs to me! You no doubt come at the heels of your masters, though they are not present. Uh, I am no one's servant. Lies! Why else would you be here in this one scar in the earth, were it not at the command of the Irfan? I may rest upon the brink of death. But do not think me blind to what transpires on my grave. You are here because you again need my help, though you always refuse the price. Did you think you could cage a power of the plains? Well, the uh, Ilfan is kind of dead, you know. I will show you what it means to be caged. <gasps> We've been locked Together in. Together we shall remain here. To contemplate, to despair, to rot. I have been here for millennia. How long do you think you will last, mortal? Um, you know, I could just climb the cliffs out of here. I could probably cast some. I could probably cast leaps and bounds and jump. Oh wait, there is no jump function in this game. Never mind. All right, guys, let's form. Let's form a pyramid. Okay, and well, not a pyramid. Let's form a little. Let's form. You stand on my hand, you stand on my shoulders, you stand on his shoulders, you stand on her shoulders. Then we'll climb over that barrier. This is madness! No, this is not a laugh! Uh, we aren't your enemies. <sighs> Shadow? What shadow? The King of Shadows has returned to this plane. Know that if he is not stopped... This changes things. That simple, huh? Wow. While I hate the Irfan, that is but a pale flame compared to my hatred for the King of Shadows. I have not heard that cursed name for a lifetime. Alright then, um... What is your name, Great Spirit? My name is Nolaloth Karagasant, but I know the weaknesses of the minds of mortals in shaping such words. Nolaloth Karagasant. Okay, there you go. You may settle with Nolaloth. Once, I was a great power, an ancient being of crystal and might. Once, now no longer. Nolaloth, you were the worm of legend that fought the King of Shadows. Uh, and you are the seat. It appears we have a common enemy. Are you or are you not of Ilfarn? Um, Ilfarn are long dead. Dead? Then my last shreds of hope go along with them. It is a wonder that the endless decades have not driven me mad. I have waited for them for thousands of years. I was promised a new life, and instead, I have been abandoned, left to languish in this insignificant crack in the world. And when an eternity had passed, another fragile mortal appeared, no doubt seeking power. He called himself Armanjero and claim to be of Ilfarn. Ah, uh, um... 
He did deceive you, this is true. You know this man, and I should trust you for what reason? Uh, you know the King of Shadows, but you fought him, so how do I trust you? The how you know, uh, you're not working, you're not working for the King of Shadows. How, how, think about that, just because you know an enemy doesn't mean, doesn't mean, you know, am I am not untrustworthy? Is Superman untrustworthy for knowing Lex Luthor? Wait, don't answer that. We, we all know the answer. Then perhaps he uses you as well. Tell me then, why are you here? What, you're not going to ask me the questions three? Like, you know, what is your name? What is your quest? What is the capital of Neverwinter? It's Neverwinter? Oh, right. Off you go then. Yeah. Well, what's the capital of the Sword Coast? Well, which which area? The Neverwinter area? The part of Lake, Lake Never? Eh. Of course. Your weapon was broken by the King of Shadows, was it not? That. Of silver swords I know but little. The Githyanki jealously guard their secrets. But I do know about the King of Shadows' tactics. How it breaks an opponent. Someone give me Zinyak on the phone. He knows how to break opponents. And throw the villain ball. Then please tell us what you know. Your adversary spreads its influence by corrupting its targets. Until they no longer resemble what they once were. Eventually, all one can see is the shadow. It grows long and distracts us from what casts it. But a shadow can never become more than a weak outline. It may stretch and grow fearsomely large, but always must it circle its master. Your blade... Well, actually, if you ask, um... Ask that guy from One Piece about shadows. That doesn't have the, Well, you can manipulate the shadow whatever you want to be. And the master has to accompany the shadow. Is no different. If the sword is to be made whole again, you must look past the pale shadows its broken pieces cast and find the center from where the shadow emanates. If you do not, then there is no way in which the sword may be reformed. Wait a second. We haven't told me how to reform a sword. That mortal is only done through an act of will. Determination. There are beings in more chaotic planes that survive through such acts. The Githyanki have strong bonds with their weapons. These bonds are important to the creation of silver swords. Repairing a sword requires incredible strength of will. And how does one teach that kind of power? I cannot. How about Alphys? Alphys might be able to help. I mean, she can probably inject me with some determination. Then again, I'm not a monster. Your sword will never be the same blade as before. No, it can only be a new creation, even if it resembles its old form to a discerning eye. Having all of the pieces may be the least of your concerns, mortal. Then that is where you must go now, mortal. Alrighty then, you. Can't go there. It's even from the same land. It will be perilous. But I believe we can use the song portal from the Ilfarn ruins to reach the Guardian ruins on the outskirts of West Harbor. I can see from your eyes that this is what you came for. Now, I must ask of you. Always I have been promised recompense at a later date. Even now, my mind verges on insanity with the long years. For tolerating your presence, I make but one demand. Kill me. You wish us to end your life? This life is an abomination, and I am no longer content to wait for chance to rescue me from the void. Um, but... Um, yeah. About this one, euthanasia... I cannot kill you, not when the possibility still exists to save you, because you never know, some wizard might be skilled enough to resurrect you from the dead. I am ultimately at your mercy, but know that you squabble over nothing. 
My life ended long ago. To kill me, mortal, you must simply destroy my heart. Be warned, it attracts many beings of power that feed from it, as you have already noticed. My body is no more, but in its place, a new kind of life has sprung into being. My heart is all that remains. The last shreds of my life reside within. You may harm it now that I wish it to be so. Go now. I tire of everything. But his heart forms an ecosystem. So destroying that heart means that he, um, that ecosystem dies. All those creatures who are part of that ecosystem now are going to die as well. That's rather selfish. It's like um, Harold in uh, Fallout 3 with the, when he turned into a tree. Sure, Harold could, you know, Harold wanted to be killed off, but, you know, he was bringing life to, to where there wasn't. That's probably a good idea to spread the, um, to spread the trees around. Alright, so now I know what to do. Oh, self-download an origin. So, I can examine the heart. Just got to see past the surface layer, there's movement underneath. Walk away, nope. Alright, fine, attack the heart. Let that... us grant it sleep, at last. No being should be forced to suffer like that. Hurry. Other beings may be drawn to the crystal as we speak. Too late. Hello. Um. Back, dragon. We faced your kind before. These dragons have only rage in their eyes. Words will not avail us here. Uh, for intelligent beings, you don't speak very much. What's that? You're not being intelligent? You're not intelligent beings? Well, in that case... Um... In that case, because you're not intelligent beings... Missile Swarm! Make your power I love doing that. I love doing that! Cast all that. And... Do it. Alright, and... I think these are made of acid. I think um, I think it'd be a really bad idea to hit them with acid. Hit them with acid, man. So, in light of this, I'm just gonna hit them with a regular Eldritch Blast. If I can figure out which one it was. Okay, Eldritch Chain then. Time for a chain attack. Yeah, because these, these beings are made of um, are made of acid. So, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of meteors. Okay. Yeah, so the, um, dragons are not immune to <laughs> magic missiles, as you can see here. Oh, Quasim re has been restored, now it's Eleni who's being attacked. Uh, Eleni, you may want to put defensive casting on. I mean, Quara's done it. You should do the same thing, Zaheed, before, before you get yourself killed. Okay, we kill one dragon. Both dragons are dead. Let's loot their bodies. A lot of stuff they're carrying. Let's see what the guy got. Yeah, a lot of loot. A lot of sweet, sweet loot. Let's see, identify this. Identify them. Um, identify these, What's will you please? Identify. Favorite? Right. So let's see what I got from these guys. Okay, so maybe it's natural armor. The sly blade. Hmm. What the hell he got? Long sword. Wow, seriously? Yes. That's all you got? What do you want? All I the time? You. That's, what you've been, that's what what you've been using? Very well. In this case, you shall be using a uh, negative energy blade, which is probably not a good idea because we're facing undead. And undead are notorious for not giving a crap about negative energy. In fact, they get healed by it. But I'm going to equip you with it anyway. And then perhaps forge, and then perhaps get you forging a, perhaps forge a, uh, sil an alchemical silver long sword. Yeah, I'm probably gonna forge you an alchemical silver long sword because this is uh ridiculous. All right, so, that's what you gotta do? Attack the crystal heart till it dies. So it goes off in a big explosion. Yeah, I could get my party to do this as well, but they tend to only like get one attack in and they stop doing it.
a creature with compassion. My last wonder before oblivion. At last, for the first time in ages, I am freed of my shackles, free to move towards death once again. It feels right. And he's dead. Alright, we've got some loot. Got some loot, crystal heart shards. Hooray! I've already been there, so that thing there, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! So, in order that, what I need to do is stop the Shadow Reavers. So, the alliances are all done. I've got to reach the Vale of Murder Lane. Murder Lane. <laughs> let's see. Fortify Crossroad Keep. That's um, going to be completed soon. But these three Kelgar's Vision Quest, Bandit Bouncing, and um, Torment of Balbazin. Doubt that doubt any of them are going to get done. Alright. Let's see how much time i got left. I mean, oh, 21 minutes. Okay. Probably enough to cut, cram in another mission. If there is a, uh, another mission, a certain mission I want to cram in, then I'll cram it in. Alrighty then, let's roll. Over here then, to the map transition. Alrighty, the cannons. So I could head to the Orphan Ruins now, but I'm going to head back to Crossroad Keep. There's something I've got to do, and that is, I'm going to go, uh... At the courtyard. On, uh, I think uh, in order to, uh, I can't advance the plot for the crossroad keep further until I reforge my sword. Until my sword's fully reforged. But I'll find out if I can or not. I've also got a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, yeah. Let's see what I can do about this. Let's proceed. Hey, Connor. What's up, Connor? Nope, nothing new, Connor. Yeah. Okay, so I can't actually do any further. Because, look, stuck at 92% until I get everything else done. So I guess I'll uh, cut the video here. Alright, thank you all for watching. Um, okay. Thank you all for watching. I've been Styles RJ, and I've tipped the scales in the favor of Neverwinter. <laughs> Signing off!